Hello everyone, I'm Duke James. This is Portugal, Portugal. They really don't want to give me a guy that reduces idea costs, so let's just uh, ignore him then. But what I can do right now is do a claim on the Canaries. So I will go ahead and do that. Is this all my ships? No, I have 11 ships over here. Three galleys. I don't think the Canaries has a navy. They have one ship. Yeah, we should be good. They have one fort level. Two thousand troops. Two thousand Algerian separatists over here. Rising in, yeah, this province over here. I'll go ahead and put those troops over there. And these 6,000 troops will uh, invade the Canaries. Put them over here in the colony. What is being built in this province? Oh, it's one of those, uh, harbages. One of those ghost harbages. That don't really exist. Alright, I will land here. Take that province. Okay, I can go ahead and grab the next bureaucracy idea, so I will go ahead and... I guess I could have dumped this a little bit ago, because we would have gotten 30 extra power, but that's alright. Grab colonialism ideas instead. Greatly increased expedition success chance, movement speed on and off ships, that uh, will actually come in handy right now. And naval tradition from protecting trade. We also gain one innovativeness, which is pretty worthless. Okay, the colonists are actually the second idea. Well, that's just for... So really this is not that important right now, because it was mostly for the Madeira and the Azores. I don't think that really does much in terms of, like, France taking provinces from established countries. Because that's mostly based off of Miltech. Let's do light looting. I don't think they really have much, but... I don't want to kill the people there. Actually, that's perfect, because then Morocco can attach over here. And then take care of my rebels for me. If they want to attach. You want to attach? You want to attach, right? They don't want to attach. So they give you that mission to explore the coast, but it really doesn't do all that much. That colonist disappears. It's not a permanent colonist. Once you get a colonist, it goes away. Alright, they got maps and goods, 20 ducats. Pretty much the best result that I can get, because I don't think I'm really going to take provinces from them, so 20 ducats is good. It's something. It's 20 more ducats than I had. But yeah, so that colonist goes away. And it really doesn't give you much else, and you have to wait till... Diptech 16 to start exploring, to start taking stuff from West Africa. So really, once you just grab the Madeira and the Azor, the Azores, then there's not a whole lot more than you can do. Because your colonization range is 80, so... You can't colonize really past this. And I think in order to get there, you have to take the provinces North Africa anyway, so... 
not huge. All right, fine, Morocco, don't help me. Morocco's at 44% liberty desire. I don't think AI Portugal, AI Portugal is going to be able to handle them. And those troops got wrecked. Hey, Castile. Okay, the Granadan Jihad against Granada. Granada declared war upon Castile. Yeah, Granada, you just killed yourself. Why would you do that? That's so dumb. Did lose those two troops, so let's go ahead and rebuild them up here. It's all your fault, Morocco. Could have just attached. Now we'll take those two provinces and their five ducats. I will call that war over. I will core those two provinces. And I have taken the canaries. Okay, Tunis is in this war. Damn it. So who's going to be fighting Tunis? Don't think it's Castile. Go ahead and take these ships off to take care of Tunis's navy to at least get these troops back. Steel's probably going to grab all those provinces. Rocco doesn't want to do anything. Probably could have gotten over here and grab one of these and occupy it for myself, but Steel will take them. take three light ships off. Not that ship. Keep three light ships with the transport ships. Put these guys back up here so I don't lose too many ducats. Should get a little bit of money from blockading. I'll retreat these troops until these two troops come over. Start a spy network. Alright, you guys need to stay away. Don't do that. Alright, well I did mention my guy was 42 and he was probably going to die eventually, but uh, I did not expect he was going to die that soon. But that's okay, because we now have a 535 ruling our country, so 13 monarch points. Hopefully this guy lives past 25, which seems like all of my rulers are dying after like 10 years on the throne. Our heir is a 332, which, uh, not that great. Let's do... Does everybody still hate me? I know the... Yeah, the aristocrats negative 23. It's trending down. Spiritualists, negative 35. What did I do to make them mad? I 
There's this opposed populist reform, but I think I'm taking too many provinces. This is a great thing to just spam if you are going tall, because your national unrest should be fine if you're tall. But we have a lot of problems with the North African provinces, so... Probably won't do that. I'm gonna donate to the state church. 5% of tax income transferred. They give me a little bit of stability. Increase interval, 0.5 spirituality and 5 clergy loyalty and 10 relations. Interestingly, both of these give plus 10 relations. This one just is 5% of your tax income. This one is 15%, so triple the tax income, but the same amount of relations. Okay, they for some reason think that I am ruling without advisors. So if you rule without advisors, you get negative 50% progress towards stability. Interesting. But that only that doesn't make the aristocrats mad, despite not me not having an aristocrat advisor. I don't actually mind these guys. I'm gonna lose 50% progress towards stability anyway. The only benefit to doing a new alignment would be to make this guy half price, but I'm not sure what these guys would, their what their uh, skills would be. So that is a a gamble, and that would also make the aristocrats mad because I'd have to align with the bureaucrats. So I'll just continue with the current leadership. And I don't think I'm doing green, so let's go ahead and do that. That should help out with stability. Let's help out these guys. I don't know what Tlemcen's doing. Our ruler is now an entrepreneur, so trade power abroad and commerce production inefficiency. We are stacking that trade power abroad and the commerce production inefficiency. The burgers must be loving us right now. They got close to max privileges. We have very buff trade ships. A lot of trade power abroad. Speaking of which... Okay, yeah. Still have that support going with the burgers. Don't have a consort, so I could marry a noble consort to help out the aristocrats. To help out my relations with the aristocrats. That would give me a 352. My heir is currently 8, so if my ruler died for some reason. That would get me into a Regency Council for seven years, which I don't want. That would also give me a little bit of local unrest reduction in Soda Vento. 50% progress towards stability, 10 relations, 10 noble loyalty. For the price of 1.25% noble power. Their noble power seems flat, and it's actually decreasing. I've gotten it up... Covered around 68%, 69%-ish. I know I've gotten it to touch 70% before, and it's dropped down now to 67.5%, so... Yeah, I'll go ahead and do this. Plus 50% progress towards stability is also nice. Diplomatic reputation and re aristocratic influence is bad, but that's alright. The uh, reputation is nice. Really, this is just uh, improve relations with the nobles and... Regency Council insurance. I feel like Morocco is acting like a rebellious subject, despite them not being rebellious. There they go. Are you gonna attach now? The Laria outbreak has. Out. Influential bureaucrats has expired and special commissions. 
assume special commissions is... Yes, grant, granting special commissions to loyalists. All right. Yeah, so even though we get manpower back every year, it does affect your national modifiers, so we don't have any modifiers in terms of our national army. We're just flat now. We're in the middle. This is Tech 10. We're what, Tech 14, I believe? Tech 14. They should have access to cannons, I believe. Song has 300,000 troops. They have 16,000 troops. Okay, so they have double our troops. They have no artillery. I don't know why these guys are protecting trade here. I'm gonna send these ships over because I wanna know what their troops are doing because they're not over here. Are you guys in Africa? You coming up this way for some reason? How much money does that give me actually? Spoils of war. Alright, let's send another expedition to France. Sure, 80% chance. So if that hits, if that's that 80% chance, I think it still has to do another percentage, another check. And that's based off of their mill power. So I think if your mill power is 10, I think it's 10 levels higher, then you're pretty much 100% guaranteed to take a province. They can either choose to resist you or sell the province. So. If that top event happens, expedition from Portugal happens, then they have a shot to sell a province to you or resist. And resisting is based off of the Miltec difference. So I think with my Miltec being five higher than theirs, I assume it's 50% chance to take a province? I'm not entirely sure on that. That happens away from my eyes, so not entirely sure about that. That's just what I remember from all of the pop-ups I got in my Vietnam campaign when all the Europeans were trying to grab my provinces. They all had negative chances because my Miltech was so much higher than theirs, or on par. And just move into this province, take this province. Looks like Seuss is not going to win that fight over there. Aggressive expansion is pretty high with the uh, these guys. Without my ships protecting trade, we make a duck at 50. They get a duck it from spoils of war. It also costs us a little bit of naval materials per month. You can try to claim that. Seven thousand Moroccan separatists. Oh, there we go. There's a fight. We barely edged them out. I don't think that was all their. Tr if they had like sixteen thousand troops, we would have lost that. Absolutely, would have lost that.
I have three and a half years until I can take the next dip tech, so... A little bit of trade range. Settler chance, 5%. Fabricate claims in overseas. Naval attrition reduction, automatically discover adjacent. I really don't... I really don't want to get these. This is really the only good thing. Fabricating claims overseas in colonial regions, train company regions, and any colonial region belonging to another nation who are also overseas from the province or to their colonial nations. It's not that important right now. Because I can't actually take anything from, like, Yolof, so... my colonial range does not extend this far. Actually, apparently now it does extend to Arguin. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to recall this guy. And I'm going to send him to here. And then I'll have those... I might even send a third one here, depending on how much money. I think it should cost a duck at 50. Because it should double the last one, I believe. I think each one is 0.5, but then if you're over, then it doubles. So it should be a duck at 50, and I think if I did a third one, then it would be three ducats. I get those two going. I'll just claim them for myself once I for myself once I get that next colonialism idea. I will send out those colonists to those colonies. I'll grab that one at least for now. Oh, come on, come on, just give me this province. Not a particularly good province. There's 5,000 troops up there. Oh, so Granada is fighting Castile, France, and me. I don't know what they were thinking. What were they thinking, guys? Someone tell me. I need to know. Oh, you're gonna come into my territory? Yeah, I don't think you are. I think you're gonna run away. I don't think I'm gonna catch those guys. I'm gonna move these guys behind Tlemcen, or Trem Tremison, which apparently is the Portuguese way to say that. And then I'm going to send these guys to protect trade, because I'm losing a lot of ducats not doing that. And I don't actually want anything from Tunis, so me to take their territory and fight them would just lose manpower and ducats. A lot of ducats. Castile wants to uh, fight them. They can land troops themselves. Alright, I stack wiped Granada's navy. Our leader, naval leader, has morale of navies, privateer efficiency, and chance to capture enemy ships plus 10%. Let's send another expedition to France. Why not? Sure. Some investment. Pretty much a lot of agricultural investment. Not much change there. Clemson shows up, I'll probably fight them, but otherwise... I will leave them alone. Yeah, they're taking the back that province, that's fine. Now we're over our force limit by uh, two ships, so that's almost a ducat. It's over my army force limit. How's this going? It's gonna take at least two more years. Probably more. Yeah, 
Okay, let's actually put the Admiral there. And these guys should get some money from blockading. 0.35 ducats. Alright, now the war is over. Okay. So, they took everything. They owe us 54 favors. I'm going to go ahead and increase trust with those favors. We got 16 ducats as well. 2.4 prestige. Aragon gained 21 power production. Granada does not exist. Doesn't say that they want. It also tells you total yearly change of opinion. That's nice. Eight, so you don't have to calculate it anymore. It doesn't say that they want our provinces of Gibraltar. So Gibraltar's in the clear for now. I will delete that troop. Hopefully this harborage gets built in a little bit to save that 0.74 ducats. And it looks like it is going to be a tornado outside of my house right now. It's been a lot of rain where I am. I know there's been a lot of uh, fires in Europe around Greece and Spain. I think Spain has fires. I saw a map that showed active fires, and it had a lot in Spain, but I'm not sure if they were fires or just, like, petrochemical industries, because that there's one that showed up in the Netherlands, which was not an active fire, but a petrochemical plant. I think North Africa has some fires going as well, so... If you're near a fire... Hopefully you come out good. And then I know Northern Europe has problems with uh, flooding. I wish everyone good luck in your current predicament. There's a lot of water near me, a lot of rain. France declared war upon England for what? What's left? What are you reconquesting? Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense, because they own... A lot of weird stuff happened. France owns this stuff now, so they want it back. Apparently Hungary absorbed Croatia as well. Bohemia has most of their vassals as well done. Poland beat the Teutonic Order. Crimea is giants. And then two Sicilies obviously formed. A lot of weird stuff actually happened. But I think this is a good point to stop this campaign, and, uh... Yeah, it's looking nasty outside, so I'm gonna end this here and uh, pick it up in the next part. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.